Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js. In this video training we will be discussing about Datagram module. The user Datagram protocol or UDP is a communication protocol used across the internet for especially time sensitive transmissions such as video playback or DNS lookups. It speeds up communications by not formally establishing a connection before data is transferred. This allows data to be transferred very quickly, but it can also cause packets to become lost in transit and create opportunities for exploitation in the form of DDoS attacks. How does UDP work? Like all networking protocols, UDP is a standardized method for transferring data between two computers in a network. Compared to other protocols, UDP accomplishes this process in a simple fashion. It sends packet, that is units of data transmission, directly to a target computer without establishing a connection first, indicating the order of set packets or checking whether they arrived as intended. UDP packets are referred to as datagrams. UDP is faster but less reliable than TCP, another common transport protocol. In a TCP communication, the two computers begin by establishing a connection via an automated process called a handshake. Only once this handshake has been completed will one computer actually transfer data packets to the other. In addition, TCP communications indicate the order in which data packets should be received and confirm that packets arrive as intended. If a packet does not arrive, for example, due to congestion in intermediary networks, TCP requires that it be resent. UDP communications do not include any of this functionality. UDP communications do not go through this process. Instead, one computer can simply begin sending data to the other. If you look at the difference between TCP and UDP communication, you can see in UDP, the sender is continuously sending data to the receiver. But in TCP, we have a handshake between sender and receiver. And this is a tunnel based communication. And it there is an acknowledgement between the sender and the receiver in case of TCP. But in UDP, there is no acknowledgement that the data has been received by the receiver. We will be going to use node dgram module. The dgram module provides a way of working with datagram sockets. First of all, we need to install the dgram module. Okay, let's go to the console, create a project directory, okay, dir node udp server. going to set the permissions for this folder the server okay first of all you need to the standard practice is to create a package.json file which you can create by running npm init hyphen y this will create the package.json file as you can see here and the second step is to install the required package in our case it is dgram module the command is sudo npm install dgram okay it's installed now now let's start by creating a udp server.js file that listens for messages on port 8080 UDP, let's clear the I'm UDP server dot JS. Okay. Let's create the dgram object by requiring the dgram module. Okay. Let's create the server object dgram dot create socket 
and using the UDP version 4 now let's create an event when the server receives a message and when it does get the message and the receiver info here we can say console.log I received this message from client and here you can get the message and let's bind the server to port 8080 save the file this is our server code and our server is ready to run and start receiving messages from the clients now let's create a simple client called udp underscore client dot js udp client dot js and in client we just need the dgram object by requiring the dgram module and we will be creating the socket same as we did in the server module and it is UDP version 4 and we will be sending the message to the server as dot buffer dot from hello from tech weber UDP communication and it should be sent to port 8080 on the local host okay, that is all about our client now let's start the server go to the client start the server by node UDP score server okay, our server has started now let's open another terminal window and run the client dot js file okay if you go to the server you see i received this message from client hello from techweber udp com so we have successfully established a client server communication using udp protocol in node.js if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you need any professional help you can email me at umemu.gmail.com you can visit my facebook page or my linkedin profile i'll be more than happy to help you and guide you if you have any problem in your current project or you want to learn telecom or network programming in node.js see you next time with a new video in node.js